This traveling seminar on the modern history and architecture of Bavaria is designed to give students an insight into the relationship between technology and the historic circumstances that form the built environment. This Lehigh faculty-led study abroad program allows students from an array of majors to earn three credits over winter break. The program explores the history, culture, and architecture of Munich, a capital and center of the southern state of Bavaria, Germany. The program of study does not require German language skills. Well, I really didn't know much about architecture before I left, so I definitely got to know a little bit more about that. We learned about some of the different styles, um, like neoclassical and I don't know, Roman and all the different types. So that's definitely something that I picked up. Um, but also a lot about the history of Munich and you know what happened after World War II. Something I didn't expect was that they rebuilt everything that was there before the war exactly the same. So it was kind of weird looking at it and be like, this is what it looked like, but it's not real. Uh, history, art, politics, and technology cross and come together simultaneously in the form of a present day city like Munich. By studying the city where for a thousand years technological and social change has left its uh, physical mark on the buildings that surround us, we bridge the line between the social sciences and the humanities. There are many ways to study a city. We do it through physically mapping on foot at first and by train on occasion. We look at a lot of buildings. At some point someone counted 60 sites cathedrals, churches, art galleries, parks, residences, and a number of public buildings. We walk a lot, we immerse ourselves fully in the street culture and become a visible, visi visible part of uh, the, the city landscape. We also take several day trips to the Bavarian countryside and the Alps. To study art is indeed to study history and to understand architecture, one has to understand the political, financial, and cultural forces that shape it. So, it's our last day on the Lehigh and Munich trip. It's been a really great experience. Uh, I can definitely say that this trip has been much different than I thought it would be. I wasn't really sure what to expect going into it. Didn't know too much about Germany and spent two days in Berlin before. Uh, Munich's a very different city. It has a lot of history, but uh, it's a lot of modern architecture as well. So, it's an interesting contrast between the city is an amazing mix of ultra-high technology and uh, centuries-old history. In that context, studying the relationship between technology, art, uh, and the built environment is especially interesting one. I really love bringing out a set of diverse, a group of diverse Lehigh students that bring their own biases and their own experiences into the study of the city. And ultimately, it is an organic enterprise in which I bring in my point of view and the students uh, bring theirs. Every program, every year is different from the years before in that sense. I love the constant surprise of what students have to bring to the table and I love visiting a city uh, uh, on an annual, on a yearly basis and discovering a new, uh, new things that I never thought that existed.